Hello webmasters, this video is going to walk you through adding a link to a button. Now you may link other pages to your button such as a stuck at home page to a stuck at home button or an online resources page to a button or you can link documents to a button. Um, so first off, if you want to link a document to a button Upload it into your media library. You can find your media library on the dashboard by clicking media. Then to upload your document, and you always want to upload PDF documents, what you'll do is click add new, find your file, and upload it into the media library. Once it's in here, next you'll click on it, go over to the right hand side and copy the permalink here where it lives in your website. Then go to the front side and find the button that you want to add the link to. Click Enable Visual Builder. Find your button. Click the settings icon. Find the link area and paste the link into the button link. Now I'm going to undo that because we don't want to mess up the website, but that's all you do. And when you, here, maybe I'll just do it. So now when I click save, pretend this says Beanstack or whatever the, or whatever the document was. When I click this, it opens the document. How cool is that? So I'm going to actually change this back to the online resources link that it was linking to because it's for the digital library. And what I usually do is have the website open on two tabs so I can just steal the link that I want and put it in there. Okay, so now that was how to add a PDF link to a button and you just saw me add a page link to a button so I'm going to go over that again really fast. So let's pretend that we want to link the stuck at home page to the stuck at home button. So first I have the two pages open. I'm going to click enable visual builder on one of them, not on both. Sneak over to the other side and open the page that I want to link it to and I can steal the URL from the top here and go back to the button and click the icon find the link area and paste in the URL click save click save click exit visual builder and you're all set thanks